just going to sit for a minute or two and then get going. So just find something comfortable that works for you. It can help to sit up on something, elevating your hips to help your pelvis tilt forward. You can close your eyes if you'd like, or just lower and soften your gaze. Just beginning by directing your attention inward, noticing what it feels like to have a body, and with that, noticing what your breath is like. You can put some awareness into your base, okay, imagining some heaviness, some rootedness there, and then rising up through your center, through the crown of your head, sitting up nice and tall. And the first challenge is just to see how much you can let go and soften. So softening behind your eyes, your neck, jaw, shoulders, and let the belly go. Just try to follow a few of your own breaths. Take a couple of breaths together, big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Once more like that, big breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. <sighs> you can bring your palms together in front of your heart in gratitude. And let's begin. And open your eyes, let your hands go, make your way into your child's pose. So just getting your knees a little wider than your hips, toes touch, sink your hips back towards your heels, lower down to your child's pose. Just try to let yourself sink towards the mat. You can always come to child's pose on your own. And I'm going to be offering suggestions, but always feel free to add on, skip, or modify. Just taking a couple more good breaths into your whole rib cage, even into the back of your heart. And for your next inhale, you draw yourself up onto hands and knees, getting yourself lined up, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Grounding, so pressing down to get that response back up into the low belly, and we'll start to move. And inhale, tuck in your tailbone under, draw your guts up towards your spine. Cat. Exhale, lift your tailbone, softening your belly and your heart. Just keep moving like that on your own. Feel super slow. Just trying to keep that connection to your base, that groundedness, and that connection to your own breath. We'll add on to that. So try making some circles with your head and your tailbone. And then try going the other direction. Get into your shoulders, get into your hips, checking it out. And knees out, toes in, sink back, child's pose. After your next exhale, make your way back towards hands and knees, and then step your left foot to the outside of your left pinky finger for a dragon. If that's too much, you can always come out a little bit, tucking your back toes and lifting that back leg. You can always heel toe your foot around to make your way back through your hands and knees, and then shift back child's pose. Inhaling, rising up, and bring your right foot to the outside of your right pinky for your dragon. And just going somewhere that feels safe. Right? Never do anything that hurts. 
start to shift your hips back. Make your way back towards hands and knees. And then come onto your forearms for your melting heart. You can stay there. Or slide your hands forward, lowering your face, forehead towards the mat for your melting heart. Letting your tailbone lift. So you can let your armpits soften at all. Come back, elbows more under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Press down and lift your hips up. Come into a dolphin. You can always have your knees bent in your dolphin. You can kind of like down dog on your forearms. Just walking your toes towards your elbows. Keep pressing into your hands. Lift through your shoulders. You can stay here or rest or step your feet a bit closer together. And slowly take your left leg high. Keep your toes pointed at the floor. Maybe the longer you're here, the higher that heel lifts. And gently lower that foot back down. And check out the other side. So slowly lift your right leg high. Maybe flexing through your toes. Keep pressing through your hands. Breathing. Exhale. Gently take that foot back down to the mat. And lower your knees down. Keep your toes tucked under. Press down, lift your hips up. And your back. And we're going to come into a super... Bent knee down dog. So take your feet wide, at least as wide as the edges of your mat. So press into your hands, spinning your inner elbows forward, lift your tailbone, and then super bend your knees. So super bend your knees. Try shifting your chest back towards your thighs. Breathing. And walk your hands away from your feet. Feet away from your hands, coming into your down dog. Press into the knuckles of your fingers. Lift through your shoulders. Knees can be bent. Lift your tailbone. Try to find that neutral spine. So a little lift of your tailbone. And then like someone's poking you in the solar plexus. You can be still and breathe. Or slowly pedal out your feet. If you're feeling like you'd like some movement. And taking your gaze back between your toes. Inhaling, roll forward into your plank. Maybe it's pressing the floor away, lifting through the back of your body. Big inhale, big exhale. Lift up and back, down dog. And slowly walk your feet to your hands, taking as many steps as you need to get there. Just making your way towards your first. Forward fold, feet about hip width distance, parallel. So press into your feet. And then just try to let your whole upper body hang. Be heavy. Let your head go. Good. Sway side to side. Maybe shake your head out a bit. Make sure that's good and loose. And then bend your knees enough that you can get your fingertips into the mat. An awkward all fours thing. And then bend your right knee more, opening up your left arm for a twist. Exhale, coming through center. So both knees bent, and then bend your left knee more, opening up your right arm. Exhaling, coming back through center. Press into your feet. Inhale, lift yourself halfway. So really pressing down with the feet, hitting your belly button towards your spine. Exhale, folding forward. Bend your knees, slide your sit bones down and back, lift your chest, sweep your arms out and up. Come into your Utkatasana chair pose. So try to find that equal weight, pressing down through all four corners of both feet. Think about reaching your fingertips away from your sit bones, finding your breath, maybe more in your chest. We'll do a little flow here. So inhaling, exhale, sweep your right arm, hand back. Inhale, sweep both hands forward and up. Exhale, sweep your left arm back. Good. Sweep both arms forward. Press down and dive all the way up to standing. So press into the feet, keeping some sponginess, sponginess to your knees. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Big breath, sort of sweep your arms out and up. And when the palms come to touch, slowly bow forward. 
Stand strong for your legs. Ground into your feet. Inhale, lift yourself halfway. Exhale to fold forward. Plant your hands and step back into plank. Staying super active in your plank. You can always lower your knees to modify. And then keeping your elbows in close, slowly lower all the way to your mat. At the bottom, untuck your toes, root down through your pubic bone, toss the feet. Think about pointing your toes back behind you and lift your chest, drawing your heart forward, drawing the points of your elbows back in the back of your neck long for your cobra. Exhale to lower. At the bottom, you tuck your toes under and press yourself up through hands and knees or plank. Make your way up and back to your down dog. Press up through your hands, lift through your shoulders, lift your tailbone. And step your feet a little bit closer together. Big breath, lift your right leg high, keeping your toes pointed at the floor, three like a dog. Inhale, drag your knee towards the same elbow, hovering. And press back, three like a dog. Another good breath, draw your knee across your body. Bring the opposite elbow and then kick out. Back heel spins down, open up, keep lifting your hips up. Or I think this is fallen star. Exhale, bring that knee back down to the mat. Sweep your legs back behind you. Good breath, draw your knee towards your face. And this time set your foot down. Gently lower that back knee, coming down into your low lunge. You can stay here or come to hands on your thigh. So keep pressing down through that front foot, getting that hugging inner thigh action going on, or lift your arms up. Big inhale, exhale to cactus your arms, drawing your elbows back, lift your chest. And bring your hands down either side of that front foot, tuck your back toes to lift that back knee. Up. Walk your fingers out in front of you so you have somewhere to go. Press down to lift that back leg. Come into standing splits. You can always keep your standing leg knee a little bent. Maybe play with unweighting your hands. And gently dock that back toes back to the mat. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Maybe come into fingertips or fists for some height and open up with your right arm for a twist. Keep staying high up on the ball that back. In breathing. Exhale, bring that heel back down to the mat. You can heel toe your front foot over to the side to create a wider base. So press down so you can unweigh your hands and then bring your arms alongside your torso. Palm space on the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, reach the crown of your head away from the back heel for a bow face movement. Press down to slowly rise up. Sweep your arms up for your crescent. Let your back knee bend, thinking about lengthening your tailbone down towards the floor, some puffiness in your chest, hugging everything in towards the midline of your body. And then bring your arms out to the side, start to drop your chest forward, press down to lift that back leg, coming up into airplane or arms out in front, warrior three. You might have to engage your foot in some way, think about hugging a giant ball. Get that hollow body action. And slowly start to lower everything towards the floor. Bring the hands on the inside of your foot. Maybe you keep your back knee lifted. Maybe lower all the way down for your dragon. Just coming back to your breath. And tuck your back toes. Get a hand on either side of that front foot. And sweep your right foot back, three like a dog. And gently lower that foot back down to the mat, coming into your down dog. And please step your feet a bit closer together. Big breath, lift your left leg high, keeping your toes pointed at the floor. Inhale to draw your knee towards your same elbow, hovering. Exhale, presses back, three like a dog. Inhale, draw your knee across your body, and then kick out. So back heel spins down, open up, 
lifting your hips up, maybe flexing through your feet. Exhale to bring your hand back down to the mat, sweep your leg back behind you, three-legged dog. Inhale, draw your knee towards your face, gut up towards your spine, set your foot down wherever it lands, and lower that back knee down, finish your low lunge on this side. So maybe you stay low or walk your hands to your thigh, or maybe reach your arms up overhead, keep pressing down to that front foot, getting that hugging inner thigh action going on. Do a little upper back bend, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Inhale, exhale, cactus your arms. So draw your elbows back, lift your chest, and bring your hands down to either side of that front foot. And tuck your back toes under, tuck that back leg. So create some height, come out of fingertips or fists, and open up towards the left for a twist. Same high up on the ball, that back foot. And then exhale, take that top hand down. And create your wider base, heel toe on that front foot over towards the side of your mat. Press down so you can unweight your hands and then bring your arms alongside your body, palms facing down. Really reaching to climb your head away from that back heel for your falcon. Not cheating, have your belly resting on your thigh. Press down to slowly rise up and then reach your arms up overhead. So you can let that back knee bend a bit, moving towards. Square hips and shoulders forward. Maybe sink a bit deeper. And bring your arms on either side. Your airplane, start to drop your chest down. And press down to lift that back leg, dropping your chest, moving towards your airplane or warrior three. Couple more breaths wherever you are. And slowly start to lower everything down towards the floor. Bring your hands on the inside of your foot. So you can stay with that back knee lifted or gently lower that back knee for your dragon. And of course, you've always got options. If you want it to come more or deeper, you can come onto your forearms or play with rolling under the outer edge of your foot. More good breath here. Let it out. And tuck your back toes under. Lift that back leg. Get a hand on either side of that front foot. Press down to sweep your left leg back. Three legged dog. And then gently lower that foot on the mat, coming back into your down dog. And slowly make your way to the front of your mat. Reach your forward fold. Round into your feet. Big breath. Lift yourself halfway. Get that foot to butt connection. Pressing your feet down. Broadening through your collarbones. Exhale to lower. Big breath. Reverse one. Dive. Coming up through your flat back. All the way to standing. Maybe finding a little upper back bend. So grounding into your feet, a little sponginess in your knees, and then you can play with lifting your chest, maybe lifting your gaze, maybe widening with your arms, trying to make a big shape. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Big breath, start to sweep your arms out and up, and slowly bow forward, stand strong through your legs. Ground into your feet, inhale halfway. Exhaling to fold forward, plant your hands and step back into plank. So option to go through your flow or rest, I'll offer a down dog. So to shift forward onto the big toes, lower halfway, spin your fingers out, untuck the toes, lift your chest, staying super active through your legs, your core, lifting your heart forward, and dive your head through your shoulders to roll back to your down dog. You can step your feet a bit closer together, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. Ground into your feet, inhaling halfway. Exhale, fold forward. 
you bend your knees, slide your sits bones down and back, lift your chest, sweep your arms out and up, sitting into your chair pose, maybe finding some energy in your hands, your fingers, and bring your palms together in front of your heart. Big breath and twist towards the right. So drop your left shoulder down. You can let your left knee piston forward. Just try to twist around the straight spine. Maybe look in between your feet. Try to keep your hips lower than your shoulders and breathe. See about getting your weight more into your right foot. Then squeeze your legs together. Come onto your left toes in slow motion. Step that foot back, landing in a twisted lunge. We're staying high up on the ball, that back foot, reaching the crown of your head away from that back heel, breathing, always coming back to your feet, your groundedness, into your heart. So same basic shape, and then just lift your chest, opening with your arms for your revolved pressing, and trying to let your shoulders fall down away from your ears, and reverse cartwheel, spin your back heel down, making your way to your warrior two. So maybe lengthening your stance. Get a good bend to your front knee, you track with your toes, open up with your arms, so press your feet apart to get that leg engagement. And then float your palms up, reach forward, and take your right fingertips up, reverse warrior. So that back hand can come to your back thigh, or reach around behind you for your front hip crease. And then just do whatever feels okay on your gaze. Maybe that's lifting up, or that back foot. And then we'll do a little flow. Inhaling, exhale, slow motion cartwheel. Left hand comes to the floor, back heel lifts, landing in that twisted lunge. Swing your back heel down, ground, reverse cartwheel back up, uh, reverse warrior. And then level out with the arms, warrior two. Maybe you sink a bit deeper, reach your fingertips apart, lift your palms up, reach forward, reverse your warrior. Big inhale, exhaling, slow motion, cartwheel down, left hand lands, back heel lifts, landing into your twisted lunge. Swing, swing, back heel down, ground, and cartwheel up, reverse warrior. Then inhale, this time take that top hand to your inner knee thigh, guiding it open. So knee guiding open, let your top hip roll down, roll your chest open for your side angle. So you can stay here with your hand on your hip, really establishing that straight line, or take your arm in a continuation, right leg, or so arm, internally rotate, inner elbow towards your face. Press your feet apart, breathe. Little to no weight in the skin. And transition, slowly press to your front foot, to move towards straightening your front leg for your triangle. So it's basically the same shape. So straighten your leg, and then you can think about sliding your top shoulder towards your top hip. Hide your knee open, let your hip roll down, roll your chest open. And reach into your fingertips. You can also take that top hand behind you. And again, doing whatever feels good on your neck. Maybe look down. Pressing your feet apart. And re-bend that front heel, opening with your arms. Warrior two. And taking your gaze over that front middle finger. Big breath. And slowly take your hands to the inside of your foot and into your dragon. So maybe you keep that back knee lifted or lowered. And then lift your back knee. Get a hand on either side of that front foot. Start to shift your weight forward. Step the feet side by side. Coming into your forward fold. So grounding into your feet. Kind of let your whole upper body go. Ground into your feet. Inhale halfway. Exhale to fold forward. You bend your knees. Slide your sits bones down and back. Lift your chest. Sweep your arms out and up. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Big breath and twist towards the left. So drop your right shoulder. Maybe that right knee pistons forward. Just try to keep your hips lower than your shoulders and a long spine into your heart. And breathe. See about shifting your weight more into your left foot. So you come onto your right toes, squeezing your legs together. And then slow motion, shoot that leg back. 
landing in your prayer twist, staying high up on the ball, that back foot, keep lifting through your heart, the crown of your head, and press down to lift your chest, opening with the arms, maybe let that back knee bend, and let your shoulder blades fall down away from your ears for your revolved crescent. And reverse cartwheel, spinning your back heel down, landing in your warrior two feet. Maybe lengthening your stance, so get a good bend to your front knee, front knee tracking with your toes. Bringing that back hip around. Three. That super solid base maybe allows you to find more lightness in your upper body. And then look at that flow. So flip your palms up, reach forward, and reverse your warrior. Inhale, exhale in slow motion. Right hand to the floor, back heel lifts, open up for a twist. Spin your back heel down, ground, rise on up, reverse your warrior. And bring your arms down, warrior two. Big breath. Flip your palms up, reach forward, and reverse your warrior. So inhale, exhale, cartwheel your hands down. So right hand to the floor, back heel lifts for a twist. Option, take that top into your sacrum. Spin that back heel down, come on up for your reverse warrior. This time, take that top hand to your inner knee thigh to help guide it open. So that top hand can stay on your hip. Making sure your hips are rolling down while you roll your chest open. So oppositional twisting going on. Making sure you got that nice straight line up your back leg, through your torso. Maybe you bring your right arm alongside your ear, really reaching the outer edge of that back foot away from your fingers for your side angle. Create a transition. Slowly press into your front foot to move towards straightening your front leg. So top hip keeps rolling down. Chest rolls open, keep sliding your top shoulder towards your top hip. Option to open up with your arms. Keep pressing your feet apart, keep that leg engagement. Again, to re bend that front knee, coming back into your warrior two. Good inhale, exhale, slowly bring your hands to the inside of your front foot for your dragon. So maybe your back knee stays lifted. Or gently lower your knee all the way down. Just always listening to your body, doing what feels right for you. And tuck your back toes under, lift up that back leg. And then shift forward, step your feet side by side, come into your forward. And then to make your way up to standing, we'll find a wide legged shape. So feet wide, toes out, and then moving through the squat. So we'll bend your knees. So you can bring your hands to the floor or bring the floor up to you, a block or a bottle or something. And then parallel out the inner edges of your feet. So you get your hands right under your shoulders. Trying to find that neutral spine. So we'll Lift of your tailbone and then like someone's poking you in the shoulder plexus, solar plexus. Oh, cat back. And press your feet apart. Keep that lift of the pelvic floor. Breathe. Option to do some twisting. Just take your right hand right under your face and opening up with your left arm. So maybe your right hip drops down like a millimeter. Keeping that pressing of the feet. All right, maybe take that top end of your sacrum. And then move with your center. So both hands down, press the apart. And then get your left hand under your face. Reach up with your right arm. You can slowly do each side one more time. When you're done with that, you can heel toe your feet a bit closer together and start to lower yourself down towards the squat. So you press your elbows into your legs, legs into your elbows, and then we'll try a thing 
So internally rotate with your arms. So you get one arm in front of your knee. And then reach you back through your fingers. Maybe you don't make contact, and that's fine. And then check out the other side. Internally rotate, arm under front of knee, reach back, grab with your fingers. And then you come out. You have an option to play with this dragonfly. So let's walk your hands back in between your feet. So fingertips pointing out in front, finding your chaturanga arms. And then just sit down on your, your upper arms and lift your feet. Your dragonfly, making sure you've got that hand, like grip the basketball hand going on. Lifting your belly button towards your spine. And then carefully set yourself down. So coming down to the floor. You made it. And pinwheel your legs. So set them up like a pinwheel. Both knees bending, going the same direction. So you can stay seated like this. If that's enough going on, or maybe your body is telling you it would be nice to fold over. So just turning your chest towards your knee. And then lying down, maybe coming to forearms. Maybe things start to slow down a bit. Your breathing starts to slow down. One more good breath. Start to make your way up. And then just switch sides. So feet out in front. And then pinwheel your legs going the other way. Oh, so probably won't have both sit bones on the floor, right? Half your butt's going to be off the floor. That's fine. Breathe. So you're sitting up here for a bit. It's a little discomfort, but not pain. Or you could do that. Lying down thing, so turning your chest towards your knee and lying down. Maybe you let your head and neck relax. So let yourself sink towards the floor. Letting the breath fill up the back of your ribcage. Get your hands under you, lift yourself up, and get both feet out in front, and then find your sits bones, cross your left foot over, and grab for your, your outer thigh, taking your same hand, so left hand behind you, maybe come to fingertip surface, for some more height, try to sit up nice and tall, making sure you're not leading the twist with your head and neck. Maybe close your eyes so you're not forcing anything. And then just seeing what you need to stay engaged to help you see it stay here and what you can let go, what you can let soften. Let that tension out of your neck, your jaw, your face. And slowly unwind yourself. So uncrossing your legs and then switch sides. So cross your right foot over, grab it through your outer thigh, take your right hand behind you. Sitting up nice and tall. Some people like to hug the elbow on the other side. Just try to sit up tall. Breathe. You think about with every inhale growing taller, with every exhale. Softening. You can take two more breaths here. And unwind yourself and do a little seated forward fold. So just take your legs wide. Find your sits bones. So your knees might, might need to bend a lot, right? To stay here. And first, Walk your hands behind you, lift your chest, so a little back bend, lift your tailbone, arch your back. See about this forward fold thing. So walk your hands out in front and then relax your head, let your spine roll. Or maybe you want to take your hands and come to your legs. 
do some where you can let your those big muscles in your back and neck go. Slowly roll yourself up, bring it back to a seat. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. And please bring your palms together in front of your heart. And gratitude towards yourself for making time for your practice. And gratitude for someone or something in your life. Thank you for sharing your practice and your life with me. Namaste.